Developing tonight at 5, all lanes of I-25 open again after a deadly and fiery crash. You can see from Copter 4, the burned out remains of an SUV up on that guardrail next to a dump truck. And Kathy, tonight we know after seeing those horrific scenes this morning, at least one person died in that crash. Yeah. And witnesses rushed to try and help Jim. These pictures from witness Tim Meehan show the intensity of the fire. It ignited Late this morning near I-25 and 53rd Street, several lanes of the highway were shut down for hours. Our Jennifer Bryce is live tonight near the scene. And Jennifer, people nearby did what they could to try to help. They did what they could. They did everything from their hearts to just help the people that were in that car. And you can see just how fast and furious the flames spread. I'm standing at the edge of the fire that just charred through the grass. And this is the path that the witnesses took up to the highway to go rescue the people inside the car. Fire consumed this SUV and part of a dump truck, charring the metal and taking over the grass below. Michael Coleman heard the screeching of brakes and then saw a fire erupt outside of his home. The fire, just, just balls of fire coming out of that. As soon as it hit, there was an explosion. Then there's three more after that, you know. And I mean, it was just so, I mean, it was intense with fire. Police say the dump truck and the SUV were both driving north on I-25, somehow colliding. While witnesses believe a tire may have blown, investigators are still busy piecing it all together. We do know that they collided. Why is unclear. Somebody obviously left their lane of travel. We're still working through that evidence. The collision forced the SUV over the Jersey barrier, and the gas tank may have also been hit starting that fire. Four people were inside that SUV. One has died. The dump truck driver has no injuries. People from nearby businesses rushed over to help the people get out of that burning SUV. Four of the guys from the spa, um, Colorado Custom Spas, slithered through the fence and pulled one lady out. She was really burnt. Police and witnesses are calling those men heroic. Well, I heard the people say, hurry up, hurry up, get him, get him, get him out of there. And he was just screaming. And he was just more they screamed the higher and the fire got on there. And at last check, the people that survived in that SUV, the three people, I'm told that they are still in critical condition. Live in Denver, Jennifer Brace, CBS 4 News. An update now on the man who opened.